Hey everybody, Jay Barino here. Welcome back. It's Noir Autonoma. This is a custom campaign for StarCraft II created by Adriano. So we played Mission Zero last time, which is chronologically the epilogue, I suspect. Hey everyone, okay, so it's, uh, it's Jay Barino from the future again. I just wanted to make a quick note. I did not plan on re-recording this, as you can see, based on the mission list. I played this before I got the new mission order from Adriano on his recommendation. So, uh, again, just keep that in mind as I play through. The only thing I had reference to is the fact that we played a, a map called Epilogue. So, again, I didn't want to re-record it, though, because then I would have known exactly what was happening and, and so on and so forth. So, when we come back next time, when we're playing uh, whatever mission, the new Mission 2 is going to be, it will actually uh, be in the order that, that we expect it. And try to figure it out, piece it together on our way through this. Adriano has released a, a timeline chart on the download page. You can go check that out if you want to uh, have some guidance there, but we'll try to piece it together as we go. So heading into mission one, Red Snow. I want to keep talking about the prologue, but it was the epilogue, so that's why I guess I'll just call it Map Zero and you'll know what I mean. Three years after the Purifier's Central Core destruction, destroy Colossi class weapon. Handsome Jack, who was from Hammer of Dawn. Marie Gold, who was from the last mission. A Mayday was sent from Terran Outpost on planet Xeris 18 hours ago. Following standard protocol, a team of four was sent to investigate. Communication with the team was lost, but not before they provided intel of five Colossi class weapons, killing and destroying the wildlife inhabitants there. Alliance Command Council decided not to send any more team, any other team, and that it would be best to commence an orbital bombardment on the whole area. Okay. Try to find the extra minerals hidden throughout the map. And again, we'll have to figure out how this pieces together with the Mission Zero that we've already played. Definitely continue on normal. The slightest mistake can lead to failure. Planet Xeris Orbit Alliance Battlecruiser Commander Jackson's private room. Bright and early, 7.42 a.m. What a treat. Incoming transmission. What is this, Commander? Orbital bombardment on the outpost? There are scientists there. Civilians. Your daughter. My wife. Jack, you know as well as I, when the Council's made its decision, it's impossible to change their minds. They simply will not send any more soldiers to their death. However, they've said nothing about me sending my son-in-law down for a walk. And should that no-good son-in-law of mine happen to clear the area of those colossi during his walk... Dat, dat, dat... Because of the implication. I'm sure the Council will see no point to continue with their destructive solution. Sounds like a plan. All right, I'll go prepare my gear. I trust you'll keep them safe. Worry not, Commander. I'll bring your princesses back in one piece. Now, Marie Gold was extremely valuable in the last mission, so. So what exactly are we are we doing here? Again, we, we lack the context because this is out of order, so I don't know how this relates to the last mission other than the fact that Marie Gold is here. We have to destroy Colossi? Otherwise, this whole planet's getting bombed? Remember, Jack, the orbital bombardment will commence with or without you. Understood. Synchronizing our watches. 45 minutes until orbital bombardment starts. Now. Okay, destroy the Colossi. The heroes must survive. Marie Golds, daughter of the late Professor Trafalgar D. Law. Terran Colony Pueblo on planet Calathus 4. We, yes, we learned this last mission. Former Mobius Spec Ops, codename Marie Gold, that went MII during... The War of the Purifiers. Excellent marksman. Okay. Handsome Jack, who was from Hammer of Dawn. Foster son of the late CPG Big Barry B. Former CPG field operative. Former Marshal of Paradise Colony. They went MIA with his wife, Dr. Aku Kantik. That, again, was Hammer of Dawn. Veteran Marine trained with the art of guerrilla warfare. 
Sure, okay. And there's a timer here. Let's quick save because just in case I have to, Say again. I guess, start over. What can you all do? Hail of Lead because he's, I guess he's based off of Tychus, so he does a little splash damage. Confirm them. The they both have dash, which looks like basically stim pack. 45 minutes is a good chunk of time, so I'm not that concerned with rushing. Hopefully I don't have to restart near the end. Plasma Launcher is a single target nuke. Energy Shield is fantastic. We'll use her to tank with that. And she has increased energy regeneration. And I noticed they both have medic kit. Say again. Oh, this is interesting. This actually costs minerals to use. We're going to have to be very judicial with that. And I presume that she also has a longer range than him because she's a ghost. Yeah, but she also is the one we want in front because she can tank. So we're going to have to be extra careful. Okay, we got a handle on that. We can use his spider mines to kind of bait these guys to us. And then we use this, and then we blast the guy that whirlwinds because he's a jerk. Okay, and then we can kite these around. I like the music. This is a remix of a song from Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy Kong's Quest. Cool, okay. I guess we could just run by these guys when they start regenerating. I'm going to rely on the fact that she gets her energy back quickly. Look, a Colossus. And it's heading straight to those primal Zerg. Okay. Let's get again. Keep him back. Hit this. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. It's the fire Colossi. We have to stop it. Well, I guess the Primal Zerg will help us take it down, but that's that's really dangerous. So this is where I guess we'd have to spend money. We already found some mineral pickups. What was it? I know what spider mines are. Handsome Jack can replenish you. Spider mines, assuming necessary resources are available. Yeah, I'm more concerned about spending money for medic kits. What was what? That thing you wanted from the commander. I don't know what you're talking about. Come now, girl. How many times have we fought side by side now? On the move. Want some? I, ask. I know you. There's no way you'd risk your life for something Save. without something in return. From that last. What about you, Jack? Didn't you abandon the CPG in Paradise Colony for a Mobius skirt? Ooh, got him. Um, what if we just dash these two and go and kill this guy straight up? He'll get a little damage off. Executing. Consider it done. So these are all these are all neutral to us. Like these guys up here, yeah, they're all neutral to us. That's interesting. I'm reading you. Acknowledged. Uh, okay, and again, I just have to be extra careful because these guys whirlwind. Remember, Jack, we only need to take down those colossi to stop the Say orbital again. bombardment. That worked. That last. And I'm focusing pretty heavily on. Uh-oh, uh-oh, that's bad. That's bad. Run. Dash and dash. Kite him. Chase him down. Does he have... No, he doesn't. Okay, that was that was okay, I guess. There's a couple different ways to go here. We have to find all these colossi again, and they do mondo damage. We have to make sure that we have enough energy and a cooldown up for energy shield. Let's quick save. We only want to use heal when it would be fully useful. Say again. So it would have to heal at least 100 HP. Here's another one. On the move. I'll make it Ouch! Jeez, oh man, that's crazy! For a map where you have very limited healing, that's really rough. I should just let the Primal Zerg engage it for as long as possible before I decide to go on top of it. This is proving to be more difficult than I thought. Let's throw down another heal that was almost exactly 100. If only the Dawn mercenaries are still with us. Nice, a little, uh... Hell, they took down titans like a hot knife through butter. Okay, perfect, yeah. that's how I think that's how we need to engage them. What happened to them? Little Ewoks here? Is this the end of this? We've already killed three, so we're on good track, because there's still 40 minutes left. Maybe they they have they add a little bit of banter every time we kill a colossi. So we'll we'll keep going for it. I've already I've already had to heal twice. We still have 400, which is enough for eight heals. And I don't plan on remaking any spider mines, just because again I need the I need the money to heal, especially if it's going to be something we need during the boss fight. So 
Luckily, she's a little faster than him. I need her to be ahead of him because she's got the energy shield. Let's quick save because we're making decent progress, I'd say. Um, I don't think it really matters which direction we go in, to be honest. I think we got to kill these. I think they're called purifiers. We got to get rid of them. Okay, just let this guy come back. Um, yeah, would have uh, liked for my energy shield to last just a little bit longer. We can pick off this instigator. We got one shot off. I was hoping I could get it before that. More minerals. So we have more heals. How are we doing on HP? All right. That's decent. He's getting kind of close to where we'd want to heal him up. But we got we to gotta make the best use out of these resources as possible. Looks like that's where we're going to have to go later, I would assume. I, would, I can only imagine anytime you see like a broken pathway, it's going to be like, we can't go this way. Return here later. It's basically what that's saying. Okay, and I guess let's stick to the bottom area. Oh, nope. Just more of these uh, quill gores. Well, at least they don't try to kill us. That would be a disaster. Quick save. And again, let's just... Oh, 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 Lord. Can we? Please, please. <laughs> Lots of hot and steamy Netflix and chill at first. Now, not so much. That's not what I... You know what... Never mind. Let's see if we could draw them into this. Kill this one. Okay, well. Maybe we can lure him back into this one again. I don't know if that did splash damage to me. I hope it didn't. Otherwise, I'm just thinking, like, why do we have these abilities if they kill us? <laughs> uh, okay, grab another heal. You also grab a heal. We, I mean, we have to. We have to use that. Yeah, there's still another one here. I'm using her abilities a lot, and it's kind of dangerous. Um, can we avoid this one? It looks like he's just going to stand there. Uh, we might just have to tank this one head-on. I don't really have a way to engage him. We have to get by him. I think we just need to wait for energy. We're at 35 minutes. It's only been 10 in-game minutes, which is a quarter of our... It's a little over... Uh, it's a little under a quarter of our time. So I think I think we've got plenty of, of options here. Why don't we just energy shield and tank this guy like normal? Wait for him to come back. Say again. We need to be using dash. Oh no, that he had already he'd already come back. We need to be using dash more on uh, handsome Jack. Um, yeah, okay. Let's check down here. Energy shield is up. Let's quick save. Yeah, I like the music. I actually I had this song in my music collection prior to hearing it here, so that's a bit of a coincidence. I didn't know how uh, how well known it was. Okay, dash on you. Blast this. There we go, perfect. And then he's going to come back. We shouldn't have a problem getting rid of him. But he's just going to sit there. Oh, back up, back up. We might be able to just walk around him. We know that there's an instigator, which we can hit with a plasma launcher. There we go. Minimal damage. Okay, let these things do as much damage as they can. Now get in there. Now dash. Ouch. Oh my god. Well, that was a perfect amount for a for a heal. Four out of five. Uh, we need to wait for her energy to come back. We can't we can't afford to engage another one. It could be up here though. Or, I don't know, it could be in a, a plethora of places, but we obviously, we need enough for probably both the Plasma Launcher and the Energy Shield, which means 100. Say again. What I'm happy about is the amount of minerals that we've managed to hold on to. We're going to need these. That last. Let's quick save Got again. Loud and clear. Nice, some minerals back here. I think these were meant to obscure our vision, the doodads, but they didn't, luckily. Uh, I mean, it showed up on the minimap, so we were able to see it pretty easily. I'll make it happen. Did I, I thought I saw patrolling Protoss here. No, just another one of these. Okay. Do this. Hit it like this. You dash. Run in, into, in a separate area. A separate vicinity. And then don't stand in the fire because it does a boatload of damage. The fifth Colossus. Mission complete, Commander. 
done. Got it. Commander? Acknowledged. Hello? Loud and clear. Oh, jeez. Please don't bomb us. Jack, scanners detect another Colossus in the outpost. Got Get it. to it. Hurry. Loud and clear. Well, we can't- we can't go that way. We know we can't go that way. <laughs> I'll make it happen. Okay, well, let's quick save. Let's head to the Next beacon. Day. I hope that we're not short on time. The issue that I have with very long timers like this one... I I'm okay with short timers or holdout timers. The issue is... You can get very far on a map like this and then realize that you didn't have enough time and you took too long way back at the beginning of the map. Great. How are we supposed to get across now? Say again. Perhaps some of the locals know the way. Confirm that last. Do we have to go talk to the Quilgors? <laughs> the locals? Consider what locals? Time. Where were they down here? Strictly business. Oh, the little Ewoks. I guess that makes sense. All right. Well, uh, the other thing I would suggest, well, I don't know. It, it depends. It depends on what these heroes, who these heroes are supposed to be. But from a, just a purely gameplay perspective, it kind of makes sense for the person with less range and more HP to be the one with the shield. Again, because you would expect him to be the one that's typically in the front, just naturally. Uh, it's, so it does require, you know, that, that little bit of micro. But the, the map, like, even just on the first Colossi, is, the first Colossus is unforgiving to the point where if you stand in that fire, you're just going to die straight up. Hooray, hooray for the Slayer of the Metal Monster. We seek passage to get across the water. We know a way, Brave Slayer, but the way is very dangerous. Confirm that last. I ain't scared. Let's go. En route. Show us, please. Say again. Okay, it's way up here. So this is basically just burning our timer out for the inevitable boss fight, which may require us to uh, probably de defeat the boss in the time as well. But anyway, yeah, just from a pure gameplay perspective, because the even just the typical engagements are unforgiving because our heroes just aren't super beefy and we don't have an easy heal mechanic, um, I think maybe make the abilities intuitive along that manner as well. So it's easy to learn while you go, because basically the only way to learn is to take a boatload of damage, which you can't really afford to do because there's a very limited amount of healing on the map in general. Um, so I guess it's just sort of thinking through how to present the abilities to the player and allow them to be used in an intuitive fashion. Like, it, it took me, you know, a good 10 to 15 minutes in-game to realize I should be using Dash on Handsome Jack because he can't do anything else that doesn't cost money. But there's, an o there's a global timer, so you're kind of automatically in a rush, which is a little frightening. Okay, so we're going to quick save. Status report. There's dead guys here. That frightens me. The missing team. Oh, are we already on a boss? Jack! An elemental dragon? I'm reading you. Okay. Well... Let's do it. Yeah, we can't let people stay in that. Oh, well, don't stand in that either. We can't let people stay in that in that cocoon. Got to hit him right away. Run. Oh, oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Uh, excuse me? He just turned and just hit me. He just blasted me. Not sure what to do about that. We're doing decent damage to him. We had saved at the beginning of the fight, so maybe we just take our time. All right, gotta, gotta get him out of this. And then run. Get her out of that. You know what I'm thinking is, so when he does that... Ah, ugh. Get him out. When the thing does that... Yeah, like this. Use, yes, use the shield. Okay, perfect. That's how we do it. Say again. Got he almost got hit there. She almost got hit there. Quick save. Run. Blast him. Use dash. Don't stand in that. Pretty safe. Okay. Yeah, see when he turns to face her like exclusively, you've gotta you've gotta hit the
the shield. Get her out, get her out, get her out. Yeah, because because otherwise you get stuck in the AoE. Ooh, I think yeah, we've almost got him. One more blast. Ooh, okay, not bad. Heal up. So that was an elemental dragon, huh? Well, that's why the way was extremely dangerous. Exit. Where's the exit? We have to destroy the Colossus quick. We've got a decent amount of time left, hopefully. I don't know how much more is left on this map, though. Again, I really hope we don't get close to the end and then realize we're out of time. Doesn't look like it. It looks like we're, we're pretty close to the end. Might be worth waiting for some energy on her, because, again, we do have a good chunk of time left. We could spend some money and get some more spider mines. I don't feel that that's very necessary at this point, so I'm not going to do it. Let's uh, let's go. There's the Colossi. Run. Well, she's going to get hit no matter what. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh. Aku, where are you? It's safe now, Aku. Might as well spend the money and heal her up. Jack? You came? For me? Why so surprised, darling? I am your husband, after all. That's exactly what was going through my mind. I'm like, did you think we weren't gonna come for you? Sorry to have to break such a touching scene, but how about calling the commander to call off the orbital bombardment? Right, the orbital bombardment. Marie? Is that really you? Hello, Aku. Long time no see. Planet Zerus Orbit Alliance Battle Cruiser, Commander Jackson's private room later that night. Commander, we're very disappointed in your son in law's disobedience. Mercenary Marie Gold is here, Commander. Show her in, Adjutant. I, I'm sorry, I can't. I'm attached to a wall. <laughs> you wanted to see me, sir? I can't thank you enough for what you did today. My daughter is very important to me. The Commander. Father told me about you and what he promised you in exchange for your service. Here, the location of all the Mobius hidden facilities on planet Xeris that only a level 5 such as I would know. If your sister is still alive, she should be in one of them. But be warned, even if she is still alive, after all these years, she might not be your sister anymore. I'll take my chances. Anything else, Commander? That would be all, Mercenary. You think she'll find her sister? Professor Trafalgar D. Law is... was my friend, my mentor. I owe him so much. Whatever it is, she may or may not find... at the very least, it will give her closure. I hope. Well, we did play a map that was called Epilogue, and at the end of it, we were trying to make our way into a facility, and she's like, I'm coming for you, sis. So I think in this campaign, we're not destined to find her. Again, if I'm piecing this together right, it makes sense that this would come before something titled Epilogue. Uh, and I'm trying to avoid looking at the chronology chart that Adriano has put together, unless I get extremely confused. I really want to try to be able to piece it together, and I'm not sure if the intention was to force the player to do such a thing, which I think anytime... Anytime you have the player asking questions and trying to fit things together and, and have them guessing, that's a great way to to sort of firm up an early narrative, in my opinion. All right, well, this has been Jay Barino. Thanks, everyone, for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye now.